Hi, it's Terry here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pull a multicoloured print from a screen. As you know, I use the Screen Sensation printing frame, but I use Colorcraft's um, screen printing inks. I'm going to be using four different colours today to get like a rainbow effect. So I've loaded up my screen ready. I'll open it up and show you. I'm printing onto some felt. It's a nice wool felt. Um, I've put some scrap paper behind just to catch any excess that goes over the edges. I've taped everything down securely so it doesn't move. My screen is loaded nice and tightly like, it, like the skin of a drum. You don't want it to be moving. Um, the bagginess will give you sort of skids and bleeding in your printing. Um, I've also loaded it so that I pull my print towards me because if I pulled it the other way the actual screen would slide out and we don't want any mistakes or smudges. Okay, so I'm using four colours. I've got turquoise, lemon, scarlet, and metallic aquamarine. I'm going to use some lollipop sticks to apply the ink to the screen and then a squeegee to pull my print. I've also got some scrap paper here so that once I've finished with my sticks they can go over here out the way and I don't get dirty. My sink is filled with cold water ready so as soon as I finish printing I will take my screen off put it straight into the cold water and clean up. Once I've cleaned the screen I will lay it flat on top of some microfiber tea towels and I'll put one underneath the screen then one on top and just let that dry naturally then it will dry nice and flat without any crinkles. Okay let's get started. So rainbow effect. There's going to be no particular order to the colours just give them a little mix up some blue over here, maybe some blue here and a bit of blue there. Okay so I'm scraping the excess back into the pot and then my lollipop sticks over there, ink that I've used over there. So next to the blue, how about some red? Okay again mix that one up. Some Right in there. I'm not being too particular on how much I put out. I just want to make sure that I've got enough so that I can run a full pass of the screen without running out. Okay, that one's done. Uh, let's go yellow next. I'm just trying to think what colours will mix together and make secondary colours. Let's have a surprise. Some yellow in there, maybe some yellow in there. Yeah, that looks good. And then the green, as I said, it's got a metallic shimmer to it, it's really, really nice. I've used this one before. Um, if you've not seen any of the other screen printing tutorials I've done, you can pop over to the Colorcraft blog and you can find them there. So green in there and in there. What I love about this technique is you never really know what you're going to get until you've finished pulling your print. Oh, that's the joy of it, a nice surprise. Okay, so all my colours are on my screen ready to go. Squeegee at a 45 degree angle. I like to slot it in and then pull in one motion. Ready? And lift up and towards you. Now all of this ink can actually be saved. So what I'll do is I'm going to pop this over to the side and I'll scoop it into a pot afterwards, mix it up and see what I've got. Okay, now if you see that there's some excess ink, you can come back in with a smaller squeegee and just lift that up. that 
going everywhere. Um, there's a little bit of blue over here. Again, you'll see that the blue isn't contaminated, so I can get that back in the pot and use that for another pass. Okay, I think we're ready to reveal the print. Fingers crossed it looks good. And there we have it. really really cool okay that's that's it for today thank you for watching I'll put links in the comment section below and you can see other things that I've done and where I got products from thank you for watching bye